back to our cooking show. Today we're going to make a beautiful, delicious Sunday chicken rolls. Yes. Uh, so this chicken is from our dad's farm. He's a chicken farmer and uh, the chicken he breeds is the most delicious chicken yeah. you can ever eat. And you can actually order it as well. If yeah. you check below here, we will post the link. Yeah, we post the link below yeah. and uh, yeah, you won't regret that. Okay, for this lovely uh, oven roasted chicken, you can use really whatever you like. Uh, we are going to use some nice herbs. Mm -hmm. uh, piece of lemon, garlic, olive oil. Yeah, so basically it's a, it's a basic recipe. Yeah. And it's super easy to make. Nothing can go wrong. No. Uh, the most important thing is that the chicken... <laughs> Yeah, we got two rules here. Okay. No, we skipped the first rule. Okay. <laughs> so the, the most important rule is that chicken reach the temperature of 80 degrees. And for this you will need a thermometer, if not, well, you can always check inside. But, but the, we definitely recommend a thermometer. Yeah. We don't need a lot of things, so no. we're going to get this started and then we will have lunch in about two and a half hours. And I will also just say one thing that uh, okay, one chicken it's a lot of um, it's a lot of food, right? Yeah. Uh, but if you're a small family, if you're a small family, but you can eat okay, you eat this uh, lovely chicken roast now, and for tomorrow you can make a nice uh, Caesar salad or a chicken sandwich or yeah, whatever you like. It's so good. I believe there won't be any leftovers. No, in my yeah. oven says plate. Uh, just carefully gonna open up here in the back. Looks like this. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna put some herbs, for example, obviously. <clears throat> obviously, salt and pepper. Yes. It's the magic herbs <laughs> that you put in, in everything. everything. Uh, yeah. Just place it like this. Do you need help there to hold it up, or is it okay? I think it's gonna go down, you know. Okay. Now, also be very careful with the hygiene here. So yeah. now I touch that one and that one, so I need to properly clean that one. Okay. So, put a few pieces of uh, the lovely thyme we just picked up from the garden. Nice. What's important here is to not... Whatever you decide to put inside the chicken, make sure it's not um, too stuffed, because that's not a good thing. It needs to be air flowing inside the nice. chicken. Nice. And also, I will add two pieces of freshly cut lemon, maybe mm -hmm. without the seed inside. That would make a lovely And pair. now, carefully, just tuck the legs back together. All right. This little glaze. Exactly. Gonna so I'm gonna make this uh, olive oil and garlic glaze. Super simple. Uh, super simple. Uh, olive oil in this little bowl here, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'm gonna just take this garlic thingy and do it in there. How many garlic cloves do you need for this? Uh, I I just take two. Two it pieces of garlic. Yeah. Okay. Like that. And uh, it's nice to uh, whisk it around. Whisk it around and then use this one and glaze it over, okay? Alright. Okay. So here's the lovely garlic and olive oil glaze. Yes. And a lovely chicken. And just make sure it comes all over on this side. This would be just like so lovely with the thing. flavors. Yes. A lot. a lot. Don't be shy with this, okay? <laughs> it's just 
very nice like that and then um, for the extra finish just put some lemon yeah, or lemon and thyme around the chicken okay also maybe the garlic the garlic leftovers we can put around the chicken yeah. So now it's important to keep it for how long? Uh, no, the most important thing is it's gonna be 150 degrees and uh, for about two hours. But it since all, we yeah, it all depends on the size of the chicken. But, but we have a thermometer, so we're gonna check that it's course. 80 degrees. Yes. Perfect. It so needs to be 80 degrees. All right. So to um, serve our roasted chicken with some uh, cream sauce. Uh, so I'm just gonna pour in five deciliter of fresh cream, and I will add some stock. And on top of this, to make it go really well with our chicken, we're gonna use the the sauce, kind of the juice. The this, yeah, the juice that dropped down from the chicken, together with the garlic, thyme, everything. We're gonna put it in here as well. Where is and mix it all together. Yeah, we're gonna mix it all together, and this is a sauce of the day. But you can also have like it's delicious to serve with like a cold creme fraiche. Cold creme fraiche sauce. Cold, cold creme fraiche sauce is also lovely. Mm. And I mean, uh, it's it's up to you what you like, yeah. or what you feel for today. All right, Martha. Okay, so uh, the chicken has been in the oven for almost two hours now. And I have checked the temperature like all over because it's very important. It's over. It's over 80 degrees, and and now it's almost. <laughs> why is why are you laughing? I don't know why I'm laughing. Okay, it's 88 uh, degrees. Sun. Perfect. So it's definitely ready to yes. take out. So just place it here so we can pour this all right. into the sauce. So here we have it. Um, wow. Hello there. So what I'm gonna do now, we put that thing on the cutting board. Yeah. And I'm gonna take all this juice and pour into my sauce. And you can just imagine how nice it's gonna be together. Yes, it will be. <laughs> Okay. 